Do you want to know how to make a hyperlapse video with your DJI Mini 3 Pro? Well, what better way to show you than in the wild? Let's go for a ride. I'm Jeff with Jeff Brabeck Drones Plus Tech. Let's get started. We're on the road to downtown Roseville, but um, first things first, you might be asking yourself, what is the difference between a hyperlapse and a time lapse? Well, to be honest, it's huge. A hyperlapse has specific movement, but it's very calculated and very steady. It's gotta be consistent. It's usually focusing on a stationary object and everything around it is in motion. A time lapse, on the other hand, the camera's not moving, it's standing still, and you're just capturing time over time. And that's the difference between a hyperlapse and a time lapse. Now, what makes a good hyperlapse? Well, as I said earlier, a stationary object. But beyond that, what's even better is getting shots in the early morning before the sun rises or, like tonight, in the evening just before the sun sets. Those are the best shots. And again, you want to focus on a stationary object and fly around that object so that any moving objects around it, whether it be boats in the water, cars on the street, people walking, bikes, I mean, any movement at all, it's going to look awesome. All right, all right, so here we are in downtown Roseville. We're gonna go up to the seventh floor of this parking garage, and we're gonna pick a spot, which I already know, for our hyperlapse tonight. Oh, here we are. Top of the seventh level, and the sun is going down. It's pretty much set. And there's our intended target right there. Do you guys see it? The traffic circle. So what settings do I need to be in to create a hyperlapse video? Well, using the DJI Fly app, you're gonna wanna make sure that you are in photo mode. So go ahead and tap above the shutter and you'll see that you have the photo option. You're currently on video, or at least I am. Go ahead and tap photo. And now you're going to see different options here on the right-hand side. Uh, you're gonna see video, master shots, your quick shots, and then there's hyperlapse. Go ahead and tap on hyperlapse. And then under hyperlapse, you have one, two, three, four different modes that you can choose from. Now, today's 101 video, we're simply going to do a circle around our object. So we choose the circle, exit out of that. All right, and now we're gonna fly up to our subject. For tonight, we have chosen the traffic circle. I always like to make sure I'm at least like 100 and a quarter, 150 feet up in the air. I'm already on the seventh level of a parking garage, so there's not a whole lot to run into up here. So I'm gonna fly over here to the center of the traffic circle and put my target right in the middle. And go up higher in elevation. We're at 260 feet in the air. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit to 250. Now, before you mark your subject, go ahead and make sure your video settings are where you want them. Tap down here where it says 4K JPEG. I'm exactly where I wanna be. My resolution, I want it 4K and I want it set to JPEG. I'm okay with not doing raw. I'm not a big fan of having to color grade things. Exposure level here, let's just take it back to zero and see what that looks like. I always like to start at zero on the exposure. All right, so that's a little washed out, I think. Go ahead and dial that. Whoops. Let's go ahead and dial that down. Negative 0 0.03, negative 7, and negative 1. Okay, I'm going to go with negative 0.7. I like how that looks. Now we're going to mark our subject. The way you do that is just drag a square around the center of the circle here. Now you have to be careful if um, the edge of the track grabs the vehicle, see how it's dragging off to the vehicles, it's gonna follow them. So we're gonna take that off. We're gonna recenter ourselves. We're gonna wait for traffic to die off. There we go. All right, so now we're on target, we're all good. So now we're gonna set our duration and the frames per second. Duration here says um, it will be a 15 second or 15 minute shoot and it'll take 450 frames. We're gonna dial that down to a 10 second Hyperlapse. Now we're at eight minutes and 20 seconds for the shoot, and um, it'll take 250 frames to do it. See, at this point, we've got everything dialed in, so let's go ahead and just hit the red shutter button and start the shoot. 
And there you go, we've started our shoot. You can hear the clicking of the camera shutter. Now that the hyperlapse process is complete, let's bring the drone back and check out our hyperlapse. You all know how to do the return to home. Just push and hold down that button and the drone will automatically return back to its home point. Let's check out our, our hyperlapse. All we have to do is go into the playback by tapping the play button on the bottom of the shutter. All right, so now we're in the drone's album. We're gonna tap on the 10 second video and play back our hyperlapse. Now keep in mind this is a low resolution playback, but it's going to let you know exactly what you captured as far as position and framing and timing and all that fun stuff. Now in the future, I will do some more hyperlapse videos and include waypoints and how to manually set your flight path for your drone, which is very cool, but it's definitely not hyperlapse 101. Go ahead and help keep the channel alive by smashing the like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that bell for alerts so that you know when I post my next video.